Good. So this is uh, this is the summer 2011 core two paper, second attempt. Question six: the facts theory. Question. Right. So use the facts theory. It just wants us to try subbing in some values of x to see if we can find one that gives us an answer of zero. We can try anything we like, except there's a plus ten at the end here. So it makes sense for us to try values that are factors of ten, doesn't it? So it's kind of one, two, five. <coughs> even 10. Um, let's, let's see what we can try. So we'll start with, well, what, what should we try to start with? Um, two. <laughs> two. All right, thanks. Dan. Let's try two, see what happens. What have we got to lose? Um, sub two in and we get um, eight plus four, that's two cubed plus two squared, minus 2 times 11, so minus 22, plus 10. Um, oh, that is, really is amazing, isn't it? Uh, 10, add 8, add 4, it's 22. Take the 22. Don't know how that happened. We got 0. How fortunate that that worked out first time. Good guess. Right, so, uh, so what does that tell us? It tells us that x minus 2 is a factor. All right. Maybe they expected you to have to try one or two more, but uh, I don't think the examiner would be suspicious. They would all assume that you have the amazing brain power down. <laughs> Part two. Hence solve the equation f of x equals zero, giving each root in an exact form. Right, this is where we actually have quite a few choices about how we're going to do it. I suppose if you want to play it completely safe with this, then your first step would be to say, x minus 2 is a factor, let's do long division and find the other factor. So a, a really safe way of doing it is to set out the long division x minus 2 into that expression there and see if we can find the other factor and then try and factorise that. The other, the other thing that you could do is you could just try and continue with the factor theorem, try a few more values and see if they work. Adam. <laughs> if, we, <laughs> if we do that, that could be a risk, because look, this says in exact form, and that hints to me that maybe the other roots aren't nice integers. We're still watching it. Good. Let's do, let's see if we can do it with that, uh, that method for finding the other factor. Let's see what happens. If we say that x cubed plus x squared minus 11x plus 10 is x minus 2 times something. Now this is a bit of a risk. This isn't as safe as long division. If you make a mistake in here, you're not going to get as many method marks as doing long division. But if you get it right, it's going to be so much quicker. All we're saying is that we must have an x squared at the start. To get x cubed there, it has to be x times an x squared term. So let's put our x squared term in at the beginning. At the other end, we've got plus 10. Now, minus 2 times something gives us plus 10. It has to be negative 5 in there. That's the only way we get plus 10. If we look again at... Well, let's pick the x squared term, for example. To get x squared, at the moment we've got minus 2x squared out of that bit. So this bit here has to leave us with plus 1. At the moment we've got minus 2. To get from minus 2 to plus 1, we need to add 3. So x times this term here must leave us with plus 3x. And we've also got a check in this, because if we, if we look at the, uh, the 11, minus 11x term, we've got minus 5x minus another 6x does give us minus 11x. So we've also got that secondary check that we've got the right one. We've got it. We've, we've made sure that we've got the right factor in there. Um, so we've got x minus 2 times x squared plus 3x minus 5. So one of the roots we know now is x minus 2. 
The other roots, well, they are when x squared plus 3x minus 5 equals 0. And, and we're now seeing that factor theorem root wouldn't have been a good idea because this doesn't factorise, does it? There are no, no two integers that times to give 5 and add to give plus 3. So if we've got a mathematic <coughs> that um, doesn't factorise, what other options have we got? Formula. The formula. <coughs> We're going to have to go with the formula. Oh, we have got another option. We could go with computing the square. It doesn't shout out to me that it's a nice computing the square thing, because the, an odd coefficient of x doesn't lead to a nice completing the square method. So we're going to go with the formula. x is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. You have, of course, got a calculator in this module, so you can type this into your calculator, and most of you have got a calculator that will give you an answer nicely simplified in third form if you did that. Um, I'm not going to use the calculator. I've got, what, 9 plus 20, so root 29 in there, yeah. over 2. And so my other two roots are x equals 2. Sorry, that was supposed to say x equals 2. And then we've got x equals minus 3 minus root 29 over 2 and x equals minus 3 plus root 29 over 2. Really not nice answers, but they are answers. And there was a hint. It did say giving each root in an exact form, and we've done it. We've given it in an exact form like that. There it is.